don't think it's too much to ask that they put fresh flowers in my dressing room every day. Do you? No, <laughs> but it isn't up to me. Look, See, I... are they going to put fresh flowers in my dressing room? No, but they said they let the gardener start a compost heap in your closet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> again for America's gamiest game show. But who's counting? And here's America's gamiest host, Monte Carlo. Hi, math fans. Welcome back. And thanks for those swell words of introduction. Without further ado, let's meet today's contestants. Who are you, sir? Well, hey, Monty, I'm Buck R. Ruse. That's Buck Ruse. Mighty proud to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up! Oh. And let's meet your opponent, who is... I'm Mr. Control. Mr. Control. Do you have a first name? <laughs> so uh, you would be, uh, well, uh, you, uh, you, uh, you would be out of control. Yeah, but only when I lose on TV game shows. I see. So it's the Old West versus the New West. You kids at home, get pencil and paper ready and play along with us. I am going to spin this wheel five times. Your job is to place each number that comes up on the place value holder. And the object of today's game is to create the smallest possible five-digit number. Now, in today's game, we're going to have a wild spin. After the fifth spin, you can replace any one of your digits with a number that comes up on the wheel. But remember, except for the wild spin, once you place your digits... You can't change it! Dig it! Here we go with the first number. Oh, we are looking for the smallest the possible five-digit number. The first one is a, a five. 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 Here we go with the second digit. Round and round she goes. A five. Five. Match that. I wonder what the chances of that are. This is your number one offstage guy again, and I'm wondering what the my heck I'm out of control is thinking. Why would he put the fives there? It's a two. Third digit is a two. Place your twos. Buck Aruz has figured the chance of getting a zero or a one are not good and has elected to put his two in the ten thousands place. He has assured himself of a pretty low number. Four. Fourth digit is a four. Place your fours. Out of control is still gambling that he can get a number less than two. Let's see if his thinking will pay off. Three, the fifth digit is a three, all right. This is the moment we find out if this has been a wheel of fortune or a dial of disaster. This is the wild spin. If you decide you want to replace one of your digits, pull it off now. Mr. Control removed the three, hoping that a smaller number will come up. Buck R. Ruse is playing it safe and replacing one of the fives. Zero. It's a zero. Place your zero. Okay, let's see who has the smaller five-digit number, Mr. Roos. Well, Monty, that was one wild spin, but heck, <laughs> I teamed it. I got 24,053. 24,053. Woohoo! Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Shut up. Oh, and Mr. Control. Monty, I I've got 2,455. 2,455. An incredible gamble by Mr. Out of Control, and it has paid off in one of the most dramatic finishes these tired old game show eyes have ever seen. Mr. Control has pulled victory from the jaws of defeat. It was a great game, but Grace Scott time is up, and we gotta be off. Congratulations to you both. To our runner-up goes an air-cooled round of Swiss cheese, and to our winner, a popsicle, a momsicle, and... Physical. Yeah. That's it for now. Beam us up, Scotty, and may the math be with you. Bye-bye.